Dear students, today we will be focusing animation ribbon. So until now we have discussed that how we can make a smooth transition from one slide to another. In today's module we will be focusing on how we can add animations into particular content within a slide. So we will discuss animation, effect options and add animation. So let's start the practical. So let's move to the same uh, slide on which we were previously and we have discussed this transition now we are on animation and in animation you can add uh, effects to particular text so for example i want to add uh, some effect on this so i will go into animation and again different kind of animations are available all right so for example i said I need such kind of thing and so you have seen that ITC have moved right left so if I click it more yes right so such kind of things can be added to any text and you can add more animations to uh, one particular thing so for example if I select it again and then say okay add another animation so let's see what happens now. So you have seen that I have added two animations in the in 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 an order which is again being shown over here. This is called the animation pen. If I cross it, then it's not available. If I want to see that, then I can click on this animation pen. So this means that this ITC will have two kind of animations so such kind of animations you can add from here so variety of things are available uh, you can also say that uh, you need on entrance so all of these are available or on entrance which means that when um, your content is coming then entering the control to this content then that would be shown so i hope you can practice such kind of things at your home as well in detail and you can also practice these that when something is being entered emphasis or uh, what kind of effects are available on exit or some motion path kind of effects are available like I, if i say okay this is circle so you have seen like this ITC has moved in a circle and then has reached back, right? So let's see. Yes, yes. So these are two things available. So whatever you want, you can use such kind of animation, add, add animation, and we have seen that how can we see that animation using animation pan over here, and you can also use the timing as we did in the last module. So let's conclude today's module. We have learned that how we can apply animations within the content of one particular slide. So now we are all set that we have formatted the slides, we have uh, used different templates, we have used different design, and then we have used that how one slide um, can be reached to another slide using transitions and how to make smooth transitions and variety of different transitions and then today we have learned that how one particular slide on one particular slide what particular animations can be added to the text so that's it for this particular module